Tommy Vassetti? <laughs> Shit. Didn't they never let him out? He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg, schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vassetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey! Hey, great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so, they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business, and the other one does the flying. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s. Used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! Come on, get out of here! my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovels shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy! been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money! No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny! You have my personal assurance that I'm gonna get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm gonna mail you the dicks of those responsible! Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re... 
ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here, stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who does that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. Oh, my bike! Buenas noches! I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Rossetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Caramia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with rising silicone star, Candy Sachs. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent. Lead singer with Love Fist. Yeah, can I tell you, do you know how they play ping pong? It's silence. Let me tell you. It does not involve a bat, <laughs> if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo intellectual film director the Steve all Scott. All the passion with the Nippo invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. Ah, now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, the another day. amigo. How do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very trying. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cope. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get the out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. See you around, handsome. I'm sure you will. Ah, well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it. 
Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slime ball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know why I am? Looking for some hey, English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. You're lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Kent Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg? Rosenberg? Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Kiss another drink, bruv. What is it? Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate. It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. You're dead! Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Yeah, take this. Follow me. This way! Keep quiet. about this town. You gotta pack some heat. The local gun shop is a couple of blocks away. I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. Oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, oh of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look, it's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out! I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that! The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. Some Florida moron. Batman. Hey, 
man, my car, in my damn car alone, man. Yo, man, I still got payments. Oh, please, God, someone help me. Innocent until I say otherwise. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening! Not guilty. Understand? Good. Ah! Avery goes without saying. Tommy! Tommy! Any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later. Tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party? Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay, what could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should, stop by my office sometime. You happy now? Management will discuss any grievances in the appropriate manner. Sticks out, boys. Let's crack some kind of skulls. Get out the way. Yeah. Uh, this is Cortez. You were at my party? Yeah, I remember. Uh, Mr. Versetti, it was a most unfortunate incident that happened with your business deal. I know. I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. If you'd like to talk to me more privately, you can find me at the boat. Huh? Okay? Good day, senor. Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. Mr. Versetti. Colonel. Thank you for coming. Please sit.
Lobster. No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now his incompetence reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. For well, this kindness, I'll reward you. And then we will find your money together. He will be at his penthouse, half drunk, probably. Use this. Don't tell anyone about this. I'm gonna shut that big mouth of yours. Uh, he's got a blade. Stop running, you fat slime ball. Keep away from me, you cheap bastard. Uh. Oh, sweet Jesus! I've wasted my life and my looks! Stand still and I'll make it quick. Oh, Respond to a 1031 South Pike Point. <laughs> Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as planned, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development would have faced sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? Some piss-head messing around. Tommy, come and join me. This looks delicious, eh? Tap your snout. No, oh, no, no, no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my inquiries, but in the meantime, I have a valuable deal to close. A favor for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet a courier who has obtained some valuable technology for me. It's all about this The rain! She is very wet this time of the year. What? Ah, uh, come on? Look, Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh! Certainly not the Please, imperialist American pig that is propriétaire of a gouvernement français. Hand it over! You American idiot! They followed you here! Beat him Shoot for him. Tomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. 
I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's man at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Hogging all the action, I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Must be called Tessa's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. He'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay. I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. I live! Take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit. Where's that guy, Lance? Come on, baby, come on! Yeah! Yeah! Stupid horse! I'll chop your head off! Uh, who is this thickhead? Tommy Versetti. Uh, you remember me. Excuse me. I'm a little anxious. <sighs> Never trust a goddamn horse. <sighs> you do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for up. Me. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is gonna be easy. What kind of incompetent fool are you? Fool! 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 Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here, Quentin, Quentin! He'll fly you over the area. Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. What's been puzzling me? What's with Quentin? I don't know. I always kind of liked it. Quentin Vance. Vance? You name's Lance Vance? Hey, I got enough of that at school. 
Lance Vance, poor bastard. Where the hell are we headed, anyway? Prawn Island. You ever fire one of those from a whirly? No, I'll get a bit of practice on the way, though. Not so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, watch where you're waving that thing. No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, hey, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> you're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard had just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy, I want that boat. Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah! pigeons are back. Eject! Plastic crap! You doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Ah! Oh. Oh. Screw you! It is my favorite El Burro movie. It's die. What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? Damn. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here, okay? Let me guess. You thought I could use a guardian angel. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there, my man. Now, you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap. But I know one day, I'm going to save your ass, 
and you're probably going to want to kiss me. Wacko. <laughs> Watch yourself! They're coming from all over! Got him! Hit for Diaz as fast as you can! Eat it! Eat it! Sleep with the fish! My friend, you're a real proper grade A lunatic. No, oh, thank you. See you around, Tommy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. Diaz was pleased and would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud, no matter. I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me. And once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Donuts, soldier! Sir, yes, sir! Convoy, halt! Civilian, move away from the tank! Tommy, this is Donald Love. Donald, this is Tommy Vercetti, the latest gunslinger to come to these parts. Now, Donald, you just shut up and listen, and you might learn something. Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old-fashioned gang war. Except maybe a disaster, like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? Now, recently a gang lord died. You disguise yourself and head on down and crash the funeral. Mix it up and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. <laughs>
Christmas? I'm going to save your Vera, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker Diaz, the buglemeister? He's got your boy lugs. Word is, you might try to jump him. Didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Where did he take him? Ah! ah. Oh, hey, all it's right, plain mate. English. Keep your party on. They call him across town at the junkyard. Bloody hell, you nutter! There goes my careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. He killed my brother. What do you expect me to do, mow his lawns? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure, I guess. Nice to see you, too. Let's get out of here. Get patched up and meet me on the bridge to Star Island, okay? Okay, I got you. I got us some cannons in the trunk. Holy shit, where'd you get all this stuff? Been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like. This place is gonna be crawling with assholes. Be careful. Don't worry, Tommy. I'll cover you. Diaz! I've come to take over your business! Tommy! You betrayed me, you idiot! I'm gonna kill you real soon! Eat this! You murdering bastards! You stupid pricks! My beautiful house! Look what you done to it! This is for my brother! Oh, I trusted you, Tommy! <coughs> I would have had you made! Say goodnight, Mr. Diaz! Oh, we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the... You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory and let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. What's the problem? Some bars refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. Your protection needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. I don't need this crap. These idiots oh, operate out of DBP security around the block. You guys just sort it out amongst yourselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Ah! 
Circumstances force a hasty departure, amigo. What's the problem? Ah, the French want their missile technology back, and after that last incident, I feel it is time to find safer hoppers. Wouldn't it be safer to fly? I'd be dead before I reach check-in. Besides, I need to get my merchandise out of the country. Need another gun? You, my friend, are worth ten guns. <laughs> Tomas, you have protected and served me well. And now you must leave us before we reach the open seas. I will lower my personal launch. Keep it, my friend. A token of my gratitude. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, one more request. While I'm away, could you keep an eye on Mercedes for me? I think she could look after herself, but sure, I'll keep an eye out. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. what this means we could all be so and at the time i must have got screwed that place was wired to go up like a firework factory and somebody tipped off the cops but everything what's the problem apart. fellas mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall but he screwed the fuses and now uh, the cops are crawling all over it we gotta get our stuff and get out of here relax both of you let me think for a second tommy versetti just doesn't cut and run the cops are going to be going over that building with a fine tooth comb right but that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but... No one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a lockup, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. Okay, Lance, let's get the cops' attention. Tie him up and gag him. Ooh, fits perfectly. A bit tighter around the crotch, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. I'm going to beat the crap out of you, man. Remember, smile at the other cops. Hey there, officer. Nice bag. Nice bag. Real smooth, Lance. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! We got to get the hell out of here! It's me, Lance. Keep 
your mouth shut there, Tommy, because I ain't got no time to talk. I ain't interested in what you got to say. Why should I be? You don't care about me, do you? You got to look after me a bit better. Give me a spare slice, you know? Hey, Tommy, man, look, hey, I'm sorry. It's just that people patronize me all my life, treat me like a little kid. My brother would do that. Please, man, don't do that. I got to go. Yes! Brilliant, bloody British! Hey, Tommy! Glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Lovefish before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per Percy, Dick, and Willie's in the Kazi, and that was Jez in the booth earlier. And guys, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. This is Tommy. We go way back. Hey, pal. And, uh... What was your name again? <laughs> yeah, you remember. Lovefish. Don't be Did playing them games with me, Did mate. I'm too crafty for that sunshine. English prick. Like good See, one in America. The, the thing is, Tom, mental. the boys totally need some help. They ain't too connected here. They don't have your totally ass, your father. We need some drugs, pal! Gonna get on the old <laughs> love yeah, fish, yeah, nice beauty, yeah. you know? Yeah! Well, this is Vice City, man. What's the problem? Love juice, man. We need love juice men, gang! Love juice? I two parts boom shine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs, and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Oh, it really mean a lot. You can do boys. that for the boys, right? Tommy, man, am I glad to see you? What's going on? Bad vibes, Tommy. Aye, I'm knee joking again. It is heavy stuff, man. Heavy gang. This cat, we hardly know him, but he knows us. Like this cat, knows all about us. Knows that Willie likes his ladies' underwear, eh? Or that Percy likes to do that. Shut up, you that. fool! Just eh? get bomb yes. sheep to love rocket thing, can? Oi, <laughs> shut yeah, up. Yeah, a love rocket <laughs> thing, right? But listen, this cat. Yeah, yeah, the guy wants love fish dead, dead, Tommy. Love fish gone. You know what they say, the good die young, but Tommy, you've got to save love We've fish. We've got a signing in two hours, and I think... Yeah, and, and the boys think the stalker's going to try some monkey business there. Get away from me right now! Where's Baker? I'm looking for Big Mitch Baker. Who's looking? Tommy Rossetti. Rossetti? You don't look like the law, so that's bought you a minute. You better talk fast. Ken Paul said you might be interested in pulling security for a gig he's got set up. Ken Paul? Shh. No wonder he sent you. The last time he was here, he left through the window in nothing but his limey birthday suit. Are you interested or not? We only do favors for our own. How do I join? This ain't no country club, boy. Can you handle a bike? Can you sit on a stool and drink? Goger, Zeppelin, go see how this girl handles a bike. Ah, got you again. Hey, Rossetti, Cougar says you can handle a bike pretty good. Yeah, how many more errands am I going to have to run? I'm a very busy man. If it's a fight that's going to sell this, then bring it on. Being one of us ain't just about brawling. It's about being part of a family. Yeah, I've been part of a family before, all right? It didn't work out. Yeah, yeah right, but this family takes care of its own. We don't ask a man to do the dirty work and then let him do 15 years hard time. Yeah, that's right, I've done my homework. This here's the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses. Hell, some of us have even been betrayed by our own country. I was locked up during Nam Ugly business. Which is why I'm going to ask you to go mess with the man. This whole damn country needs a kick in the ass, and we're the ones to deliver it. So get out there, grab a bike, and show this city how pissed you are. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey there, Mitch. Well, if it ain't badass for Seti. Now I want to see how good you can fight for your patch. The local street gang made the mistake of stealing my hog. Probably because of some machismo thing or something. Me and the boys would go over there and teach them a lesson in respect and all. Anyway, then I got to thinking. This would make a good initiation for you. You get my bike back, and you can tell Paul he's got his security. Come on! Draw me, man! That psycho's back! What's going on? That psycho won't leave Love Fist alone! You didn't kill him, man! And now he's back! Yeah, 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 the thing is... The thing is, we need someone to drive the limo we can trust, because that nutter keeps making threats! Shut up, Michelle, man! I need my mom! We're all breaking ourselves, man! Okay, guys, calm down. I'll handle this. Normally, I wouldn't busy myself with driving around a bunch of drunken Scottish bisexuals. But in your case, I'll make an exception. Last man, time for a well earned drink. Are you finished just a hundred yards to the road, man? Better make it a large one, then. Hey, Tommy, change the tunes, man. I get all confused if my head's not banging. Ah, oh, look, what's this? Hey, Tommy, take this tape on. Well, Fist, your time polluting the airwaves is over. I gave you the chance to be friends. Well, now I'm giving you the chance to die. You try and slow down, your limousine will explode, along with your big airy asses. Tommy, pal, you've got to save the band. I'm getting bored of this. Just keep the pedal to the metal. You gotta find it, Bob. Can we just drive around all day? I would get plenty to drink. The Bob may be in the engine. We need to stop to get. We're all going to die. I'm going to get pissed. Hey, there's a queue here, pal. Hey, man, I'm just near the drinks cabinet. Get him away. Hey, the vodka bottle's got wires coming out here. That's no vodka. That's boomshine. Ah! Ah! You always said the drink would kill me! I've seen this on the telly. You can't pull out one of the wires. Which wire? I don't know, man. I don't have a clue. Willie, she's shoving. I'm going to play Mason Hill. Hey, Tommy, you Again? Yesterday we'll never get a play alive. Oh, shite! 
Si, sí, men. Hey, easy, papi. This man's for me. You. You the boy? Oh, yeah. You the boy. I think so, you know. No, I don't think I do. Oh, yeah? You come here, tough guy. You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, he call you dumb, son. And I call him a little girl, papi. Look at him. All dressed up like that. What is this? Ladies' night? You some kind of tough guy? You dress like a woman? You got on panties like a woman too, huh? What do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I like women. I like all women. I love my mother, Chico. All right, all right. I take your word for it. Relax. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah. Like a woman. <laughs> Very funny. I like you, big boy. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can prove you're a man, huh? Take out the boat. Show me you got some big cojones. And not some little very chiquita one. Hey, I'm Rico. You the man with the big cojones? Tommy Versetti, let's go. Okay, man. Treat her like a woman. Amigo, you're the man, man! You got big cojones, amigo. Papi, hay problema, Tom. Papi! Un gran problema! Roberto, my son, what happened? Un gran problema! They messed with me. They messed with me for the last time. What is your problem? We we'll take him out. Only we need some backup. I lost a few hermanos already out there. Amigo, you drive good. For a woman, right? This is no time for joking. Come on, drive for me again. Amigo, take my boys over there. When they mess with me, they mess with the biggest boy in town. Hey, man, you want some trouble? You want some real piece of cool and asshole? <laughs> We're gonna fight like men! You trying to kill me or something? Hey, amigo, good to see you can make it! Die! Huh. Fight like men with huge cojones! Este es mi pueblo. Tommy, we have proved our men for bravery. Let us kill the man for drugs and make a good escape. Alberto, uno cafe, Papa, senor. Don't serve the snake in the sauce. You're two-faced, Tommy. You're either two-faced or you're a whip, baby boy. They're laughing at me. Easy, easy. What's your problem? They're laughing at me. Tommy, at me. Humberto Rubino. They're doing whatever they like. Nobody does whatever they like, Humberto. They do what you let them do. What? 
You want somebody taken care of? I can handle it, but it's going to cost you. I know we're brothers and all, but this is business. Tommy, you are a real man. Business, a gentleman. They have a load of product coming in offshore. Really good stuff. We take it, and we finish them. You take it, and I look after you. Like my brother. Like my son. I think I prefer the cash to being bounced on your knee, amigo. Hey, Rico. Nice boat. You ready? See, Tommy. Now you be a good shot today. Come in, my dear, and rest your soul. You must be the big bad man my granddaddy been chatting about. Tell me things about you, you know, when he visits, and about the others who wait for you. Now, we all dead from long time, but you, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I got a message to come here. Can you hear them? Them calling your name, boy, must want you pretty bad, don't you think? Now you do all Auntie Pulea Turner, huh? maybe she help you. Maybe she can give you a little juju after all of this. Give you some magic to give the lawman the stink eye. Mm? Look, this is all very, um, give me what? I, I, I think I got the wrong address. Give me these things, Tommy. The nasty, proud foo-foos. Mm. Been making my boys shake their heads. Now they told the policeman where me been stashing my powders. They think it drugs. Them stupid. Now be a good boy, Tommy, and go and get the powders for Auntie Poole. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Don't move a muscle, chump! Ah, Mbappe, no? Sorry, I, I must have the wrong address. Well, you might as well come in and rest your souls and have some tea. Do you have something there for me, Tommy? Yeah. This place feels familiar to me. Uh, it's a, a smell from childhood, a deja vu. Now, Tommy, I'm going to whisper a little errand for you. Hear me well, I. You look like someone I... I... Them have fast boats they use to cross the seas with drugs. It is their livelihood. Me nephew been making little flying bombs to take them out. Blow the boats to coffin wood. Thanks for the tea.
Hello? Hello? Uh, I'm looking for somebody around here. You're looking hungry, Tommy. Do I know you? Hush now. One more thing and I can let you go, Tommy. My boys gone war with them boys, but no guns. While they fight in the streets, you will take this rifle. No one sees you, no one hears you. Now, Tommy, you do this for me, and you no longer tie to my apron strings. Okay, Auntie. Hey, lady, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make love like a man. You know that, Chica? Something like this. Hey, baby, I wouldn't oh touch you with a ten-foot pole. Humberto Rovina, he likes the ladies, so not fun. some goat in a skirt. Tommy, Tommy, I love you. I love you. Let's go. <laughs> go where? Can I get a cup of coffee first? No time for coffee. Besides, I just had one. Oh. Tommy, how do you take out a snake? You bite him in the ass. <laughs> you go and get us a little car. When you get it, come back and pick up my boy, Pepe. And take them out to such and such. Their processing plant. Whatever you say, Humberto. Hey, Tommy! Tommy! Use their solvent as an explosive. Boom! Bye-bye! Humberto. What about you? Uh, I'm going to stay behind and watch over that cafe with Papa. He not feeling so good, you know? No, they do nice pizzas here. Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. Hola, amigos. Oye, the solvent is around the back, amigo. Bueno, putas. Muerte. Vamos. Vamos, indeed. Hello, my compadres. You lost, man? Okay, in you go. Going to plant the bomb. Cover me. Guess you're the new owner. What are you, mob, cartel? You don't look Mexican. Anywho, I guess you better get on with the things that are gonna change around here, crap. Maybe threaten one of the drivers. Go steady on Ted over there. He's just had his hernia fixed. Well, uh, yeah, things are gonna change around here, lady. Oh, crap, Sonny. Might as well leave this to me. I've been doing this for years. Now, here's this. We are now under new management, and things are gonna change around here again. Our new management team... Which gang are you? Well, I'm not part of any gang, actually. What's your goddamn name, kid? Versetti. Tommy Versetti. Our new management, the Versetti gang, is gonna make sure we get no trouble. Capiche? Out. Did you like the capiche? I like the capiche. 
So this is how it's worked in the past. We run the firm as usual. If we get any trouble from rival firms, you beat the crap out of them. Then they beat the crap out of us. Then you beat the crap out of them, etc., etc. You got it? Uh, yeah, I guess. Just grab a taxi from the garage if you feel like jumping in. No sign of Mercedes. for Kaufman's cab's guardian angel to eat some fender. Tommy, hey Tommy, look at this. This is great. I've got us this mini bar installed. We got a whole bar downstairs, Ken. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, I got the chalkboard you asked for. Ah, that's the benefit of a law school education. The ability to follow instructions. No, I need a safe. Man. Oh, all right. Well, let me think. Safe, safe, safe. I got it. This guy will blow you away. Ah, no, that schmuck. He's on the inside. Where inside? And a police headquarters cell awaiting transfer. I think he's about to get paroled. Cam Jones? Yeah, that's me. I'm busting you out. Whatever you say. Lose the heat and get me back to my place. Come on, wise guy. You have to go to a stand, 19. Send us Washington Beach. You might have run away. Go to a stand, 21. Send us Washington Beach. What do you think? Doing a job, and you're my safe cracker. Beats losing my ass in his cell. We need a stick up man, you know one? Hey, Tommy, 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 this stuff keeps you sharp, man. Woo! I could be your stick up man. Stick him up, stick him up! You ain't a stick up man, you're an idiot. Now get yourself a drink and shut up. Hey, get out of my way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Relax. Cam, what do you think? Well, the best shooter in this town is a guy named Cassidy. Is that so? Yeah, a military guy, or thinks he is. 
I doubt he was ever in the army, but he certainly knows how to get a hold of guns. He'll be down at the shooting range. You Phil Cassidy? Why? I'm looking for a man who can handle a gun. In this setup, I'm not too convinced. Son, I can shoot a fly off your head at 80 feet. Oh, really? Yeah, I learned it in the Army. Fly shooting real popular in the Army? Glad I don't pay tax. You trying to be funny, kid? <laughs> the shoot! So, you want to do me a favor and help me put together a job? Son, after shooting like that, if you asked me to be your wife, I'd say yes. Things are starting to come together nicely here. What's the plan, Tommy? Que pasa, amigo? The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. <laughs> Anyhow, we need a driver. Tommy, I'll do it. I can drive. <laughs> you want Hillary, mister. Not some smart-talking law school chunk. Hillary's a real deal. You ain't never seen anyone drive so fast. I'll give him a call here. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. No, oh, no, I don't think he was in the service. But he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay. I understand. What'd he say? Well, he'll do it. No problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. Said he'd meet you outside. Abandonment issues. You Tommy? Oh, of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. I'll drive for you, but please tr treat me bad. As you can see, gentlemen, this is going to be the easiest buck we ever made. <laughs> Tommy, seriously, you gotta consider going into law. Uh, what the hell are you smoking, man? This ain't no simple plan. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Take communism. Now that was a simple plan. Didn't do Russia any favors, huh? Calm down, all right? With a team like this, it's gonna be no problem. We got Cam on safe. Phil, you and me will handle security. And Hillary will drive the get I, I don't... Uh... <laughs> aren't you forgetting somebody? Somebody who helped you to no end in this town? Somebody Ken! Like... Ken, that's right. Ken here, he washes the money for us. And he keeps the drinks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look, it's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? We walk into the bank, we wave the gun around, and leave very rich men. I'll drive. Great! A passenger? Wait till I tell the group about this. driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay.
This is a raid! <laughs> Nobody move! <laughs> Everybody up against that wall! Phil, hold down the fort. Wilco, roger that! Come on, Cam, the vault's upstairs. Damn! It's a flangy 9000. This could take hours to crack. Or five minutes if you could find the manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. Bill, things still sweet? Sure. Everything's real quiet. What are you thinking? <laughs> You think you can mess with us? Ah. You, you're coming with me. Okay, okay, just don't shoot. I said nobody move! It's on a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need your key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. I'm gonna check on Phil. I'll be right back. I told you not to touch that alarm! The SWAT team will be here any minute. I could do with some help here, Tommy! I see him! Lake City SWAT, you are completely surrounded. Surrounded? <laughs> They're prepping themselves! Corrupt bastards! Tommy! The vault's open! Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay! You asked for it. You had your last chance. They're storming the place. Take cover! Hillary. I'll give him abandonment issues. Hey guys, get in! I got you covered! Remember me!
you like a massage? Well, hi there, Mercedes. Yeah, I'm a little tense. What I tell you, Tommy? What I tell you? Ben Swap better watch out when Ken Paul is in town. Come on, give me a bigger slice, mate. Come on, I gotta get some new threads. Look at the ass on that. <laughs> oh, Alright, girls, you're lost, mate, innit? Alright, me old China. How's hanging? What do you know about counterfeiting? Oh, I'm fine, Paul. How about you? <coughs> oh, alright, alright, alright. You obviously a busy man. All I know about dodgy reddies is to try and supply the place. Ah, oh, fuck! You know. They've got a shipping company down the docks. Ah, uh -huh. uh, uh, the boss man would know when the plates are coming in next. Thanks, Paul. What's the matter with you, you maniac? Give me another drink, lively. My first, my son to attend, 21, central, my Who are you? Whoa, I know the face, know the face. Oh, I talk, I talk. All right, the courier's moving the plate from the docks today. I'm gonna go intercept them, grab the plates, lose any heat, and make my way back here. Now, depending how well this goes, we may have five minutes to print the money before the counterfeit syndicate finds us, or we may have all year. Either way, I want green rolling off the presses five minutes after I get back, got it? Don't you worry, Tommy. We'll be ready. Me and the boys will be around in the neighborhood in case you need any heat taken care of. All right, everybody cool? All right, I'll catch you later. I see him. I had Sonny on the phone, okay? Are you with me? I don't know about you, but there's something about a man threatening to murder my family which really scares the crap out of me. What are you gonna do? Ken, take it easy. I am calm. Calm as a man can be when he's fearing for his life. Stay off the idiot fuel and look after yourself. No one's gonna take us out. I'll see you later. I am calm. Don't I sound calm? Must be impending death that is doing this to my voice. Bill! Run! Run! Ah, wait! Never get
get a naked thing too close to where the Phil Cassidy's food shine still. Shit, Phil. Did you drink that stuff? The hell, you don't have to drink it. Just a good whiff will set you off. Ah, Listen, Phil, you said you could fix me up with some firepower. Sure thing. There's some Mexican gun runner been doing me for business of late. He does his weekly run about now. Hey. Ram his hardware off the back of his trucks before he goes to ground. And you'd be doing me a favor while you're at it. Then finish him off. some extra strength boon shine nearing fermentation time and I was wondering if you'd fancy having a shot. Seriously, Tommy, if you like a drink or if you need to strip paint, this stuff will make a man out of you. Sure did out of me, even though I can't see out of one eye. I'll be waiting for you. You hear? Hey, Phil. How's it going? Hey, Tommy! How you doing? It's been too long. I swear you should lay off that boom shine, man. It smells like paint stripper. It's making my eyes burn. Shh, 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 Tommy. Hey, come over here because there's something I want to show you. Something. Oof, God, should I be able to smell that from way over here? Don't boozy. you worry about the smell, Oof. Tommy. You just watch this. Shitty, cheap bandits or something. There's some more on the bench. Ta-da! Oh, damn! <laughs> Exxon's surgeon owes me a few favors and a lot. He's got a place down in Little Havana. Oh, huh, giant fish. He's coming. Okay, what's the emergency? Oh. Who? Oh, Tommy. Some mob thugs said they'd come to take their cut. Said it was a Mr. Farello's money. Oh, I feel like crap. Farelli? Sonny Farelli? Yeah, that's the guy. I think. They were very Holy insistent. Pop. I'm not angry with you. Get him to the hospital. Tommy, rip that guy a new asshole for me. I'm gonna rip him too!
Tommy, it's Lance. We got big problems. Come down here right away. What's going on? Tommy! Oh, good, good, good. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I like fish. I love fish. I love them as pets in bowls, or as food on a plate, but as much as I love them, I don't want to sleep with them, okay? But right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes, and I- Shut up, Ken! Sit down! Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine! Ken, you get the first one to counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. Lance, you get the guys together. Tommy! Why? No big hugs for your old buddy? I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty <laughs> on family etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man! They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, Sonny. Tommy! Watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? I'm sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I'd just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. No one to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? Guns are legal in Vice City, pal. Come here, you double-crossing piece of shit! Your history, Tommy! History!
You took 15 years from me, Sonny, and now I'm gonna make you pay. You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy. Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys. He never stood a thing. Oh! Sorry, asshole. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy, what, what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? Had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're gonna be getting any more heat from up north either. Because there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, that you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful?